Here we're asked to solve and graph a compound inequality. We'll begin by distributing this negative three. That'll leave us with negative three is less than or equal to negative six x plus nine is less than 15. Next, we'll subtract nine to all parts of the compound inequality leaving us with negative 12 is less than or equal to negative 6x, which is less than 6. Now at this point, we need to divide all parts of the compound inequality by negative 6. Doing that, remember, reverses both inequalities. And that leaves us with 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than negative one. Now this is equivalent to negative one is less than x, which is less than or equal to two. Now that we've solved the compound inequality, we need to graph these solutions on a number line. Here we need to shade in all the real numbers that are greater than negative one, and at the same time, less than or equal to uh, positive two. Since the lower bound is a strict inequality, we choose to use an open dot. And the upper bound here has an inclusive inequality. Because of the equal, we're gonna to choose to use a closed dot. And then shade all the real numbers in between. Using interval notation, we can express the same solution set with a parentheses from negative one to two bracket. And that's our solution set. Those are all the values for x that'll solve the original inequality.